in church, I would speak, I would play the organ, I would sing in the choir, but I allowed the opinions of people to weigh heavily and become how I felt about myself. I was the person who would smile in service, but on the inside, I had low self-esteem. The negative feelings and the criticism of others, it led me to sadness, depression, anxiety, anger, shame, and guilt. Oh yeah, I then became the person who not only had a fear of failure, but a fear of success. The fear of trying. I doubted now my abilities. I doubted my worth. And I avoided challenges. I had a fear of judgment. I avoided activities that involved other people and social events at church. My resilience in the word became low. But I remembered a prayer prayed by Bishop Mason, who said, I cast the devil out of my mind. And I began to get my prayer life back. I began to rebuke the thoughts of negativity. I began to rebuke the thoughts of low self-esteem. And I was led to the scripture in Romans 8, 28, and says, who shall separate us? from the love of Christ. So tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake. We are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. I'm coming out the box of low self-esteem. Persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth shall be able to separate me from the love of God. Self-esteem is high. Low self-esteem, it's over. I'm coming out the box. 